Anselm's Monologium on the Being of God Chapter 62 If a human soul is immortal, and it is either forever miserable or at some time to be blessed. But if the soul is, immo is mortal, of course the loving soul is not eternally blessed, nor the soul that scorns this being eternally miserable. Whether, therefore, it loves or scorns that for the loss of which it was created, it must be mortal. But if there are some rational souls which are to be judged to be judged as neither loving nor scorning, such as the souls of infants seem to be, what opinions shall be held regarding this? Are they immortal or immortal? But undoubtedly, uh, but undoubtedly. All human souls are of the same nature. Hence, since it is established that some are immortal, every human soul must be immortal. But since every, but since every living being is either never, or at some time truly secure from all trouble, necessarily also every human soul is either ever miserable or at some time truly blessed.